Welcome to the third annual Ride the Brakes. Fourth. 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 He missed a couple. He missed a couple. I did. I'm guilty. I missed a couple. Every year it's just growing tenfold and I can't even wait for next year. Anyways. So I, I'm so excited to welcome you all um, to my second home, the Donkey Mill Art Center. Um, I am blessed enough to be able to spend an annual chunk of time here at the Donkey Mill and that has been rooted in a lot of exciting collaborations including this one right here with me and my friend Crush One otherwise known as Jeremiah Nathan. Um, we've been working together for... I, I think it's been a decade of work that we've been we've been putting in here. So I'm really happy that the Donkey Mill embraces um, this amazing art form known as aerosol arts, graffiti writing, what you want to call it, I don't know. Um, but it is something that really is exciting. And of course, I needed to lay uh, my partner in crime here. organically it started with um, Ken Swift just coming here um, and two of the biggest supporters from day one have been two brothers who have put blood sweat and tears into this festival so I really want to make sure that we honor Senor Joski yes. <laughs> and always double time he's on the photos he's, he makes so much happen Mike Sato Like, I have to give a special shout out to them because without them, none of this scene would be tied together with any kind of unification and documentation, and and these guys make it happen here. So. Yeah. First time when I came, I say immediately I feel home because it really reminds me a lot my, my place of birth. I'm from Sicily, my island. And besides the architecture and the environment is very is very similar. <laughs> similar weather, uh, similar nature, uh, water is like so beautiful and clear and clean like this one. It was like 24 hours flight, but I'm still here. <laughs> what the hell is going on? <laughs> I'm still here. <laughs> I realized when I was doing this, that was way more deeper than what you see on the surface. Now I'm 44, I can tell this really from deep down in my heart is really, this culture, no matter what you do, still, a lot of people, still even a lot of us still got a lot, lot to learn because there's so much beauty inside to discover that many times we 
we see people stuck on the surface. Let's talk about hip hop and how it, it broadens itself way more than just any particular place. We think of a city, we think of funk and soul. Hip hop allowed everybody, especially DJs, to venture off into anything that existed that gave some sort of feel with a beat. So it didn't just limit itself. You can find something interesting in music back at the time in any category, in any genre, because it was about that moment in the music that was exciting or was, was, was cool and sounded dope. That was so great. I mean, when, when I found people listening to Led Zeppelin and cutting Led Zeppelin and Aerosmith, I was like, wait, what, what's going on here? I was confused. Uh, I DJed actually before I broke to it. So that's, we have so much in common, you know what I'm saying? That's why, you know, once again, the respect level is just tremendous. But uh, it, it did allow something to just let itself go everywhere. So we didn't exclude anything. We brought everything with hip hop. This culture is not, is not only about us. It starts from us, but it goes way far. And it's very important remember people. Once again, even individually when you present yourself, you're doing your dance, if you're doing it correctly, I can see your inspiration. As you can see, I like to use equipment from 86. <laughs> I, got, <laughs> I got new stuff, but that's the way I like it. You know, I don't look for a shortcut. I like, I like to use the stuff that makes me feel I'm in touch with my passion. And everything I do, I like to work in order to get something. I don't want to find an easy way to succeed. And that's for me a way to appreciate more and be honest and true with my art. Just like, you know, sometimes when nowadays people say, uh, this is hip hop dance or hip hop music, you know, but they don't, you don't hear it. The old variation of sound, of colors that we have in this culture, you know? So it's like when people say hip hop music, you're going, you, you gotta go back to the era that those DJ like who heard Bambada, Flash, and so many others, when, when they were throwing the, the parties, the jams, they were playing a variation of sounds. And that's the hip hop music right there. It's crazy. I, I understand more about my dancing now that I'm 44 than before when I was doing. <laughs> And I'm feeling like, you know, <laughs> there's something wrong. <laughs> right? Yeah, there's something wrong. I say like, my body's supposed to do the things I used to do it. But back then it was about just spontaneous combustions. <laughs> That's a good description right there, actually. You know, there's people that still got something inside. It doesn't have to be. Um, compromise with some monetary uh, power that makes things possible. I don't think as everything must gotta go through always about the monetary situation. So I was like, I'm gonna be more smarter. I'm gonna use my birthday. In my birthday, I started inviting people and I didn't make any flyers. I just was sending text messages to people. It's like, next week is going to be my party. What are you going to do? You come over? You know I did the agenda. It's going to be just, you know, who's going to be there? Music. <laughs> <laughs> What's your spe biggest special guest? 700 records I will bring. <laughs> you know, I put all the elements. I bring like 35 DJs. A lot of MC, beat makers, I bring the whole culture together because the way I live hip hop is to the fullest. So for me, it's not like a b-boy event, it's a hip hop fun event, vacation. <laughs> That's what you gotta do here, bring 
thousand people from all over the world to visit Hawaii because this is a beautiful island and we need more stuff and celebration it's the main ingredient in our culture if we, if we forgot to party we lose ourselves you're gonna do it you're gonna demonstrate right now yeah okay you know yeah, what let's, yeah. let's check this out I, more than demonstrate i like to say let's party let's party let's do put it. this table and change the way <laughs>